consider the piecewise function f of x. And let's say that it's equal to 5x plus 3 when x is less than 2. And it's equal to 2x squared plus 5 when x is between 2 and 4. And then it equals x cubed minus 5x plus 3 when x is equal to or greater than 4. So what is the limit as x approaches 2 from the left side of f of x? So which portion of the piecewise function should we use? Now, as we approach 2 from the left side, should we choose a value like 1.99 or 2.01? On a number line, here's 2. Here's 1.99 and here's 2.01. So as we approach 2 from the left side, we have to pick a value that's less than 2, ideally 1.99. So therefore, we need to use 5x plus 3, because that's when x is less than 2. That's the left side of x equals 2. So it's going to be 5 times 2 plus 3, which is 10 plus 3, so that's equal to 13. Now, what is the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x? On the right side, that is greater than 2, we need to use this portion of the piecewise function, 2x squared plus 5. So it's 2 times 2 squared plus 5. 2 squared is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13. Now, let's find the limit as x approaches 2 from either side. So, because these two are the same, you know that it's going to be 13. Now, here's the next question. What is the value of f of 2? Which function or which portion of the piecewise function should we use to find the value of f of 2? So x doesn't equal 2 for this particular portion of the function, but it does equal 2 in this function. So we're going to have to use 2x squared plus 5, which we already know what the answer is. This is equal to 13. So f of 2 is defined. Now, what is the limit? as x approaches 4 from the left side. So from the left side of 4, that is when x is less than 4, we need to use 2x squared plus 5. So it's going to be 2 times 4 squared plus 5. 4 squared is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. 32 plus 5, well, that's equal to 37. Now, what is the value of the limit as x approaches 4 from the right side. This time, x has to be greater than 4. So we need to use this portion of the piecewise function. So let's plug in 4. 4 to the third. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4, that's 64. 5 times 4 is 20. And 64 minus 20 is 44. And 44 plus 3, that's 47. So even though the one-sided limits exist, because they don't match, the limit itself does not exist. So the limit as x approaches 4 from either side does not exist in this particular uh, problem. Now there's one more question that we need to answer. What is the value of f of 4? So when x is 4, what is the value of the function? x is 4 using this portion of the piecewise function. And so as we mentioned before, this is going to be 47. So let's work on another example. So here's another piecewise function. When x is less than 1, 
we have the portion 7x minus 5. And then the function is going to be equal to 3x squared minus x when x is greater than 1 but less than or equal to 3. Now, the function will have a value of 5 when x is equal to 1. And it's going to be x cubed plus 4 when x is greater than 3. So using this information, what is the limit as x approaches positive 1 from the left side? So 1 from the left side, that's less than 1. So therefore, we have to use 7x minus 5. So that's going to be 7 times 1 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. So that's the value of the left-sided limit. Now what about the right side limit? As x approaches 1 from the right side, what is the value of f of x? So this time we need to use 3x squared minus x. 1 squared is 1 times 3, that's 3, minus 1. That's going to be equal to 2. So because these two, the left side the limit and the right side limit, because they're the same, the limit as x approaches 1 from either side will also be equal to 2. Now what is the value of f of 1? So when x is exactly 1, what is the value of the function? So when x is 1, notice that the value of the function is 5. So f of 1 is equal to 5. Now what is the limit as x approaches 3 from the left side? So that's when x is less than 3. So we got to use 3x squared minus x. So let's plug in 3. It's going to be 3 times 3 squared minus 3. 3 squared is 9 times 3. That's 27. 27 minus 3 is 24. Now what about the right-sided limit? What is the limit as x approaches 3 from the right side? So when x is greater than 3, we need to use this portion of the equation. So x cubed plus 4. So it's going to be 3 to the third plus 4. That's uh, 27 plus 4, which is 31. So the left-sided limit and the right-sided limit, there's a mismatch. They don't equal the same thing. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 3 from either side, we could say does not exist. Now what is the value of f of 3? To find the value of f of 3, we need to use this portion because x is less than and equal to 3. When we plug in 3 into 3x squared minus x, we got 24. So f of 3 is 24. Consider the function f of x, which is equal to cx plus 3 when x is less than 2. And that's equal to 3x plus c when x is equal to or greater than 2. What is the value of the constant c that will make the function continuous at x equals 2? So what do we need to do in order to find the value of that constant c? Well, if it's going to be continuous at x equals 2, these two functions have to have the same y value, which means that they must be equal to each other. So the first thing is to set them equal to each other. And they have to be equal to each other at an x value of 2. So the second step is to replace x with 2 and then find a value of c. So we're going to have 2c plus 3 is equal to 6 plus c. So let's subtract both sides by c and let's subtract both sides by 3. 2c minus c is c. 6 minus 3 is 3. So c is equal to 3.